今日私たちは何をしていますか私たちはこれをやります Alright, I guess we're having ramen today Specifically, what sort of ramen today? So we'll be going to a few of the most popular ramen places on social media And mm. you guys travel around, I'll be giving you guys a Japanese car from Taro Oh, okay, it fits the team Oh, that one! That one, that one, go, Wait, let's go Wait, what car is it? I can tell it's a Honda, but I'm not sure what car is it The first car that I've driven is actually a Honda Oh, really? Yeah, oh, this feels nostalgic hey, You know, your COE just went up again last week, right? Yeah, I, I heard It's like a double-edged sword lah. Like for, for people that wants to sell their car They are actually fetching a lot more cash That's true And apparently if you want to sell your car to Caro All you have to do is WhatsApp them uh, And they will reply within 15 minutes Oh, that's quick That's fast right? Better than me I average about like a, a two-day reply Okay, unless it's urgent And they also guarantee like the best price right? For second-hand oh, yes. car Yes, yes, yes so it's actually very straightforward. If you're too busy to drive your car down to meet view, right, they can actually come down to you and actually do the inspection. So inspect, complimentary, right? Mm, complimentary. Yeah, for you. So do you have any cars you want to sell now? No, not at the moment. Uh. <laughs> I also don't have. But if you guys have, then you can go check this out because this is a really, really good deal. Yes. Well, in this heat, uh, oh, the aircon is like a godsend. I know. I think we're going to park now. We yes. just drove two blocks <laughs> not far but it's better than walking in the sun okay? are you ready for ramen i'm so excited i'm super hungry today okay i'm really hungry okay i'm super excited for ramen always right, let's go <laughs> Guys, this I looks am, so good. I actually know the boss here. This restaurant is called Liu Lang Mian. It means wandering noodle. Liu Lang. Oh, yeah, yeah Liu, Liu, Liu Lang. Okay. Liu Lang, right? Wandering noodle. Her, her menu so, is getting better and better. He's he's helping me. The man is teaching me recently. So right. So why is it wandering? They start home base and then after that, uh, they move to a couple of different locations. So finally they settled here. Ah, uh, okay. So Very, they're not Liu Lang anymore. No, right? not wandering anymore. <laughs> okay, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Shall we start with this one? Let's start yes. with this one. Alright, here we go. Wow. Oh, it smells so smoky. Mmm. Yeah. yeah. The bonito, you can, can you taste the bonito flakes? Yeah, it is the, the, yeah. the smokiness. Okay, like is it you. coming from the duck though? Is it coming from the duck? Yeah, the smoked duck fat. Look at this. It's not the processed one. It's actually like fresh duck. And then they, he grill it at the back one. I love how the, the skin is charred. Oh wow. Smoke that past your expectation. It's so interesting the texture because it's in soup, right? Yeah. It doesn't absorb the soup in a soggy way. Ah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's still very firm, but it's not dry either. It's not a typical soba noodle. It is a high protein wheat noodle. I, I just referred to you now because I don't remember all these details in my head. Oh no, I can't stop. I need to stop. I need to stop because we have two more bowls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you chew, chew, chew. The other time I went to a Mazi soba restaurant and they have like instructions. You're supposed to mix it 15 times. 15 times? Yeah, very specific. Like, they want you to mix for very long before you start eating. Right. Let's go. Mm. I wasn't expecting this taste. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this taste. It's got a bit of numbing sensation from the... I think they added some sort of citron peppers inside. It's not strong. It's so... It's very so subtle, right? Subtle. It has this dash of mala, but not really. It adds that lightness to the taste, mm. you know what I mean? It's actually very balanced. Yeah. You, you can't find this kind of mazi soba anywhere else. The vinegar actually makes you want to eat more. And I like the addition of shiitake mushrooms. I was not expecting this taste to taste, but I, I think it makes it very unique. Let's move on to the other one. This is not we try the soup because yeah. never tried yuzu soup okay, before. Okay, let's go through. Mm. I taste charcoal though. Yeah, yuzu nuts is very light. Okay, okay let me get some I'm pretty sure it's the same. Mm. I think it tastes a bit different because the noodle soaks up a bit of the mm. flavor. I've never fancy like citrusy broth, but this one actually works for me. I want to try the meat. Yeah, yeah. You look at the look at the meat. It's like so inviting. I didn't use my teeth. Though. It just disintegrates. Yeah. How come it's so soft? Huh. This meat like here, like 
it's still so moist, oh, okay. but it doesn't feel soggy. It's just the perfect level of liu lang in the liu lang in the soup. <laughs> I, I think it's also because they grill it beforehand, so it's or oh, the fat is very melty. Okay, so this is a pancake, right? Taiwan inspired got the oh, pitan. There's, yeah, there's pitan. But this actually doesn't feel very Japanese. Their whole entire recipe right, is very um, Taiwan inspired. I like it. The pizza adds a lot of extra creaminess. Mm, spice and the vinegar is very similar to the one that's in here. If you guys all come here, share among two person, you order one, two bottles of ramen, right? I would recommend this side. It doesn't feel too heavy. Mm. This is just nice for me. A bit tangy, la, a bit tangy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so curious to try this though. This because is this, this is, is pretty favorite. fried. You know the takoyaki, okonomiyaki, mm. uh, it's the same seasoning and everything, but it's a, it's a shrimp dumpling. Ah. Yeah. On my nose! Wait! <laughs> I would have never thought to put <laughs> this kind of dressing. Bonito flakes yeah. and mayo on top of it. Did it work for you? It 100% <laughs> hits the spot for me. It's slightly sweet for me, but just simply because I'm not a big like okonomiyaki mm. and takoyaki fan. Which is your, your favorite ramen? I'll be torn between maji soba. If I were to put the the pork belly on the maze soba, maze soba is gonna be my, my favorite. It's not duck, duck, duck soup ramen. I think I'm gonna go with the maze soba. Yeah, I really like the maze soba. The raw is really very good. It's even better than some restaurants that specialize yeah. in raw but outside. Actually, that's a good idea. If I were you, I'll order this and then I'll, I'll add on yes. the, the, the loba. Is it worth the hype? It is. It is. Guys. I also think it is. I'm not sure if they accept reservations or anything. If you guys have to wait outside, right, be a bit patient. The turnaround is actually very fast. Start off strong. Let's move on to the second location. Let's go! Okay, so we are actually at the second location. The queue is very long. This restaurant uh, only, only offers 100 bowl a day. Wow. Yeah. If they run out, it's run out already. So we really don't have. You think we'll be there to get the last? Or I, I think can. I think or because, the middle. I think if we were to, about to run out, he would tell us. Okay. You okay. know, you queue for no reason. I'm, I'm like watching my back, you know, make sure nobody <laughs> cut my queue. Everybody on social media is talking about their dandan dan noodles. It's a dry version, and then after you eat it, you're supposed to mix in the rice and. Oh. Yeah. So we, we just get this one and then uh, order some drinks. And wait for our turn. So it's super tight right now and we are sitting at a corner of um, the counter seats. So we have this vlog camera for later when we are eating. I am just very, very appreciative that they allow us to film. It's so packed and they only have 100 bowls a day. Actually, I really like how there's so many different types of vinegar. It looks very aesthetic. So we're supposed to take a photo within 20 seconds and then start eating. And we've taken more than 20 seconds already, so we need to quickly eat now. Mine is the dandan, right? Dan -dan. You're not supposed to mix more than five times, according to them. Okay, this is the noodles, everybody. The spice, like the taste is very complex. Oh, I can smell the sesame. Right? Right before I pass this bowl to you, I ate a bit of the meat. It's also so well seasoned. So good, so good. I know, right? This is like 9 out of 10. So the dana noodle comes with this soup. I feel like this, this might be quite quite light. You know? mm. Just, it's like it's a dashi, it's a dashi soup. Yeah, dashi bonit. No, yeah, dashi. So I'm not sure if you all could tell, but the dana noodles has cashews, sakura pickles. I, I'm not sure if it's pork or chicken. It's pork, it's pork, it's pork meat. I've never seen all these ingredients all at once, but it works so well together. This one, a bit more straightforward. The instructions is like, you just take a photo within 20 seconds, and then you just, you start from elegantly drinking the soup. That's what they say, uh. no, I say what. This is a shoyu base, very salty. Uh, I'm gonna try it. Let me try. Okay, give it a shot. Wow, okay, I, I get that it's, it's salty, but I don't hate it. Uh, I, I just find a bit one Let's dimensional. Let's mix it up. We try to charge you. Oh, it's a very big piece, everyone. Let's see if it's as good as the first location. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're comparing pork like for like. I like the pork in the first location better. I agree. It's so according to this manual, they say you can try and change the taste with some of the table seasoning. This is the one that you're supposed to add inside the, the soup noodle. Chef recommended is pepper oil with chilli. 
Oh, it's a lot better now. Wow, really? Just try the soup. Just try the soup. Oh wow! All right, it gives it so much smokiness. It tastes completely different. Yeah. The dana noodle, they say you add the seasonings and three kinds of sour. Okay, so she's adding a kelp vinegar now. Chili vinegar. Orange vinegar. Wow. Let's go. I just taste like a more sour version than whatever we ate just now. But it's not sour in a bad way. Okay. I think the chili vinegar adds a bit of heat to it. Yeah. That's what true. Is? Yeah, it has a bit more heat than when, when I first ate it. Oh, this is know. very good now. But you see the thing is that it was already very nice before we added the vinegar. Mm. So wow. it, it just made it a little bit more sour in that sense. But it, it's, a, it's a complex sour, so I like it. I highly recommend you guys adding all the vinegar in Yeah, so all the noodles come with a small bowl, small plate of rice. It's so that you can add it in to the residual sauce after you're done the noodles. So let's add it in right now. Oh, nice. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh, that's the right way to go. Man. I'm not really a rice person. I thought I won't like this as much, but I actually like it equally much. With the rice, it sort of picks up all that flavor. Like for noodle, you can't really get everything in one bite. With rice, right, I can get the pickles, the crispy shallots, everything in one bite. Yeah. Should we try adding rice to your soup ramen? Okay, so let's turn. Hey. Not bad, not bad. Mm, not bad. So it's initially worth the hype. It is. Eh? The dana noodles, yes. Yeah, the dana noodles, yes, 100%. But like what the chef say, la, take your photos within 20 seconds, then straight away you mix them. Yeah. Like, the dashi one, not to my liking. La. Maybe some girl will like it. I, I didn't find it too salty, but I think like what you said, it might have been a bit too simple, the salty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, I have a question. What? Chef, so you sell 100 bowls of ramen every single day, is it? So we are number what? No, he, yeah, I'm you can so you can Roughly. 68. Oh, we were, man. we were 68, guys. We, we stepped in about 130. Yeah. yeah, so if you come just study a bit later, then yeah, we there ain't no more ramen for you guys. So we're done with this location. We're going to head over to the last location. i seen them a lot on TikTok. So also very excited, but I'm not sure if they live up to the hype. Okay, bye. I'm going to finish this up right now. Location. What's it called? Mashi, mashi no mashi. mashi yeah. It's really very trendy. Eh? All the, the wagyu, you know, a slab of wagyu on top. And they have bakut there as well. This is the sukimin, jumai, and gyoza. Oh, it's not your soup one first. Yeah. Uh. Is it me or like the soup is a bit mushroomy? I think it's more beefy than mushroomy. Okay, the soup is definitely lighter than what I thought it, it's gonna be. Uh, it tastes very similar to a bone broth. Actually, I'm the opposite of you. This is. Slightly thicker than what I expected it to taste like. Sorry, can we ask you something? Yes, sir. Do you boo it with mushroom? No mushroom, yeah, that is the beef. Like. Oh, thank you. Okay, we need to try that beef. Hey, this is the sa. Because of the size, I was a little bit concerned if we're gonna put the whole piece inside, is it gonna be very chewy? Is it gonna be very difficult to bite down and everything? But actually, this thing melts. The beef is the, the best thing about this whole dish. Okay, next up, we're going to try the sukumen, dipping ramen. Okay, usually it's wheat noodles. Uh. Hey, actually not bad, the sukumen. I like it. I can't tell if it's beef or pork. I think it's beef, right? I think it's beef. I think it's beef. It's, it's so well seasoned. <laughs> yeah, the beef in there is actually very good. Like, it's salty, but not in a overpowering way. Okay, this is definitely like above average. The bonito flavours inside is so strong. Sauce very beefy so, also. so rich. And the taste is very unique. I've had sukemans, but I've never tasted a sauce like that before. I wouldn't say the ramen, like all the other components really like well, it's like the top or anything. But the star here is really, they, they, they nail their protein. Eh. 
Oh, I'll try a bakut there. Let's go. Comes with rice, yam chai, and yu tiang. Just like a regular Singaporean bakut there. Apparently, they have a lot of different outlets worldwide, la, and different countries probably have their special edition of like different local inspired dishes. But uh, Singapore is bakut there. Nice. Okay, come, let's try. So wait. Am I weird? But, or is it, does it really taste a bit sour? It is a bit sour. A bit sour. But I like it. Pick up vegetables inside. Eh? Yeah, you see, it's probably from that. Grab a piece of the wagyu. I'm gonna dip it into the black soy sauce. Okay. I had to say, okay. Baku Day, right? Still goes the best with pork. This one didn't quite cut it for me. So, minus texture. I enjoy the taste of it. Okay. I do think it's more of a texture thing that I feel pork will have gone, will have gone better with it. I'm gonna get a, a, oh, is it more tasting a bit you? more of the, the fattier pieces. I'm gonna try a bit of the rice as well. When I order bakute, I never you get never rice. You never eat rice on. I'm a noodle scale. Yeah. Oh, the fattier bits is way more flavorful. Really? Okay. You should like try a part of, yeah, about part of it. Yeah. Soup is actually, it's starting to grow on me a little bit. Fattier, nicer, right? Just not that my first piece is way too lean. Eh? I, I like the, the lean one. That you like is. the lean one? Uh? Okay, you're a chicken breast person, no, I, I forgot. Feel, yeah, I'm a chicken breast person. No, but also, when I eat the fattier one, it all the more makes me feel like this should just be pork. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, Because right, it's too right. close to pork, right? Eh? You're trying to try first, siu mai or gyoza. Okay, let's do the siu mai first. It yeah. looks very biting. Eh? Yeah, and it's a super gigantic siu mai. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so good eh. This might be the best shoe I've had all my life. No cap. Oh, Gen Z ah. <laughs> not even kidding. Oh, the Gen Z is laughing at you. <laughs> so I must say right, my standards for shoe are very high. You're yeah. really not a shoe mai or ha kao person. When I order dim sum, I just don't know why, but I don't order shoe mai or ha kao. This is obviously, I'm not like dying over it, but it's good. Well, it's, it's next level good. Eh? Yeah. From the way it looks, right, it's all oily and juicy. But I didn't expect it to be that good. I'm very crunchiness. Oh, I get what you're saying. Look at gyoza. Mmm. Yeah, like this one, this place, the sides are better than the means. You know the fried bottom? Yes. It's so crispy. And then the inside is very moist, very beefy. The sauce is a bit like a vinegar, like some sort of vinegar, vinegar blend. This is actually better than siu mai for me. But it's just simply because I'm not a siu mai person. But I'm quite a gyoza person. Oh, the texture of the gyoza is insane. It was sitting here for a while and it's still very crispy. Yeah! Ask me to decide between the three restaurants, right? Now it's a bit hard, right? Because all three got their own unique, like, goodness. Which is your favourite restaurant? Place? I'm gonna go with the first one. They also the first one. Yeah. First one very balanced. Like. They will have something that everyone would like. They have very unique dishes and it was all very interesting in their own way. So favorite dish? I, I got a feeling we, we both have the same answer. The the tandan. Tandan dulu. Specifically tandan. I'm gonna cheat a bit here and say my favorite side is gyoza. I found my favorite shumai in the entire world. I've never had a shumai that's made of beef. This one blew me away. Oh. It is 10 out of 10 shumai. Okay, so I have a surprise challenge for you guys. Okay. Oh, yeah. We have a shumai rubber. Very spicy ramen. You guys will take lots. Oh, yeah. the, the ramen is in this restaurant. Yeah. Well, they have a special secret menu. Oh, I do you know about it? I don't know. I, I didn't know about it. Wait, is it as spicy as the... Taufik one? Taufik. No way. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, it's not. Okay, then it's okay. I didn't know you'd be so afraid. Uh. The Taufik one, I didn't know. I mean, I don't mind I'm doing it. I'm still scared because the Taufik one, I ate the middle one and I really died. The Taufik <laughs> one, I go home on my <laughs> drive this, home. Is... Uh. It was the longest <laughs> drive ever. I, I, I got a feeling I feel already. Every time. You see, you see? I already see the drawing already. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah, oh my god, yes! Yeah, no. <laughs> I also saw you. I had that open, I see it. For the fire. Your marker can see through on the other side. So you haven't opened, you knew it. I, I, oh, I see the... Uh, guys, I, I didn't cheat, okay? I really did not look where I took. I, this is really okay, just... Okay, come, bring out, the, bring out the ramen. By the Lord. Oh my god. Okay, this one, the uh, ingredients and everything, it looks the same. It's just that this one looks like lava now. It's the same sauce, it's just now they just added yeah, a lot of they heat. just added a lot of, I don't know what. More afraid of the physical heat than the spice. 
So only this is not that bad. Oh, is it? You can take it as well. Okay, let me let me try a little drop. Trust me, it's not even bad. It's not spicy at all. I mean, it is lah. This is their spiciest chili sauce. I'm going to add it in. Do you want to try it? Put it Since you you may have find it, you know. It's actually very enjoyable. Nothing it's like, like the topping one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The topping one is next level spicy. It's still very enjoyable. Okay, I think, I think, I think one more. Okay. One more. Trust me, you won't, you won't feel anything. Can you feel something? I'm sweating already, you know. I could feel the sweat, just hello. Can you also see it's air conditioned in here? But I get what you mean, it doesn't... It doesn't, it's not the, it doesn't hurt your yeah, mouth. Yeah, it doesn't hurt your mouth, yes, correct. It's still tasty, right? But internally, I'm sweating. <laughs> they call it death level, right? I don't think this is enough to bring out the Reaper. We come to the end uh, top three trendy ramen adventure. You enjoyed the day, right? I like how a lot of the places were not very typical. It's not what you expect with your typical ramen, so. So if you guys like this series, remember to give us a like, okay? I'll really appreciate that. Uh, comment down below, we'd love to hear from you guys. And hit the bell icon so you'll not miss anything. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks okay, for watching. We'll see you guys in the Bye next guys. episode. Bye. You want to have a bite? I can't believe you have no reaction you wanna have a bite, to this. No, I don't want ready. I don't want any more. I'm still sweating from that, that, that bite. Oh no, are you okay? I'm okay. No, like... Sweating non-stop. Sweating buckets. <laughs>